What is going on guys? It is your boy Zumi back again with another rant slash cringe video, I guess you can call it. Um, this is Marcus. Marcus is a TikToker that informs people of the news. You know, things you that he tells about current events and stuff, but sometimes he's a little bit uh, biased. He claims he's not, but come on, he is. I want. I have. I find this man fascinating in many facets. Like, just, just so much crap, dude. We're gonna watch this video. Today's May fourth. It's my birthday, and I want to introduce you to my primary partner, Brittany. Primary partner. So, oh, he's. That's right. He's Polly. I've forgotten about that. Ugh. He, look, at this, look at the fear in. Hold on. We're gonna. We're gonna. Hmm. Look at the fear in her eyes. Holy moly, man. I'm telling you. It's something else, man. It's something else. He just looks like the, the, the guy you'd beat up. On the school bus. I mean, he, may be, he may have autism. If he does. My apologies, sir. But... Uh, it just... Oh, my God. Let's just keep going. Um, my mental health is really, really, really bad. Looking at you causes my mental health to be really, really bad. Looking at her makes me feel sorry for her. Um, and I haven't been completely honest with how bad it is with you guys. Um, just because it's... It... It's like someone just came... <laughs> what the... I paused it just right. It looks like someone just came in the room like... What? What is this? Everywhere we go, we do nothing. Ha ha ha! Like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped up on clear America, apple Fiji apple water right now. I'm fucking toasty. Oh, oh. you cracked open the cold one with the boys. Cheers, mates. Oh, that shit, bus. Anyway. The, 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 <laughs> his face! <laughs> it's like, hey, this fat fuck's making a video about me. Why, yes, Marcus, I am. I'm coming for that ass. Anyway, let's keep going. There are some days that I worry about whether I'm going to make it to 35. How old is he? Is he that old? He looks like he still lives with his parents. I mean, if you do, I mean, I understand. I mean, the economy's rough right now, but fucking hell. Um, and there are other days that I'm completely fine. Um, but Brittany takes care of me on the really bad days. Does anyone else feel like that she... Alright, so this is just my opinion and I'm entitled to it. Call me what you want. Why do I feel like he groomed her? I don't know, man. Just It just feels that way. I, I could be completely wrong and he could be the sweetest fucking guy on the planet, but I don't know. He takes care of him on really bad days. Um, so that the rest of the days I can be happy and carefree and do my job normally with you guys okay I want to make a point we all have bad days we all have everyone to an extent has depression anxiety whatnot it's how you cope with those things I mean yes you have a girlfriend that helps you from what it sounds like also you have other partners that can help you but it just seems like strictly for these the emotional support you have her I guess the other partners you have are just you know something to stick your dick in I, I don't know I don't know how you, I don't know how that goes um, and as a birthday present to myself, I wanted to introduce her to you, um, because I like her a lot, and I think I'm gonna start maybe showing you a little bit of what her life is like, in addition to what my life is like. She doesn't seem on board with this idea. <laughs> I mean, I think she's probably, she's maybe just camera shy, and she's not used to the... 
the attention. I get that. That's fine. But, dude, just something about this just kind of fucking creeps me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself now? Uh, yeah. So, hi, um, Brittany. Um so sweet, so tender, so... Just so sweet that I'm a diabetic now. Thank you so much. I'm 27. I'm a designer. I do digital product design and graphic design and some interior design. And Marcus is teaching me editing now. Um, and I also rescue rabbits on the side. Boys! Boys! She rescues rabbits! So, big part of my life is just rabbits. Honestly, it's part of, like my identity. What? Yeah. What's up, Brittany? Yeah. Want to see my carrot? <laughs> Allow me to keep going. We do a lot of rabbits, cool rabbit stuff together. We. <laughs> We do rabbits. <laughs> a lot of cool rabbit shit together. No, no, you said we do rabbits. Three words, four syllables. We do rabbits. I bet when he saw the new Space Jam trailer, he got disappointed. <clears throat> I'm kidding. I'm kidding! I am a good human being. I'm a supportive human being of people. Let's keep going. Yeah, a lot of rabbits. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Like, I'm catching rabbits. I'm, you know, picking up rabbits from people's houses that don't want them anymore. I'm catching them in the street. Oh. You're catching them in the woods. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun. One, there was this one time I was sitting on this very couch just doing my normal news thing. Um, and Brittany came in and she was like, let's go get a rabbit. And I'm like, yes, let's go get a rabbit. I let's go get a rabbit. She I had no idea what is getting I was getting myself into. And where where do we end up going? Melissa Mulca Mulca Hill? Mulca Hill? Mulca Hill. I got to chase her <clears throat> with a camera and I can't wait to show her this. I got to chase her with a camera. Ah! I, I can't wait to show all of you this video. I actually wanted to use this video to introduce her. I to looked, all of you. I looked up because I just woke up. I was taking a nap upstairs and I like stumbled downstairs after like my rescue. So he does live in a basement. People were calling me, trying to get me to go. And um, I was just like, Marquez, let's go. And I just like rolled into the car. So I don't look great, but. She insisted that we do this. Sweetie, you look fantastic. You look like a 12 year old girl. Yeah, you kind of look a 12-year-old girl. That kind of concerns me a little bit. This video where she does look great. She does look great. You do look great. Okay, we're going to cut that. No, we're not. We're, we're not cut cutting that. <laughs> Those eyes! Oh, my God! Did you see his eyes? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Creeper mode activated. Not cutting this. I, 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 okay. <laughs> you look so great. I literally woke up. My hair was like in a nasty bun or whatever. I hit a ponytail. Like, I didn't care. I just, I don't want that to be like a, I feel like I should like say hi for a person. I'm a person. I'm not just a person with a net that rescues rabbits and chases them and curses a lot. <laughs> Guy is <That's> funny. funny. <laughs> <sighs> I get pedo vibes from him. I get pedo vibes. Why? <laughs> it's not PG at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's They're fucking the rabbits, George. They're fucking the rabbits. Don't show your children or just like give them. No, a do show your children, please. Please give them a taste of reality. You dumb f fuck. My God, um. Okay, so since everyone's like how happy go lucky and shit, <clears throat> we're gonna uh, show you guys Groku right quick. We're gonna instill happiness upon the children. Hold on. Eh. Yeah.
stay up there. Okay, are you ready for the Patreon questions? Yes. This fucker's got a Patreon? Are you serious? Okay. Okay. So we have eight questions. Well, eight comments. Um, They're all very vulgar questions, I bet. No, I'm kidding. What's the best part about dating News Daddy? This is from Lisa. I forgot his goddamn nickname was News Daddy. Ha! Um, definitely everything that you teach me. You are really good at um, teaching me new things, especially with Premiere. I never used Premiere before um, dating you. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of other things, but they're not really PG. That's gross. That's gross, Marcus. You disgusting fuck. Look in his eyes! This are not the eyes of a sane man. Look into her eyes. They're dead inside. <gasps> Stop, you're making me blush. I'm actually sunburnt, but whatever. <laughs> Kawaii, bitch! Moving on. Is your favorite color red? Um, I like browns and, like, neutrals, but red's definitely brown. How the fuck are you that boring that your favorite color is brown and neutral colors? I bet she drinks unsweet tea, you fucking savage. Mm -hmm. And I like it for accent colors. Furniture wise. If I have dogs, how do I have bunnies safely? Okay, so this is like a big controversy in my Okay, this is very important, guys. We need to really listen in on this. For all you out there who have very vicious dogs who also want to have rabbits. Let's take a listen. My rabbit community, I think that you should never ever leave a dog alone with a rabbit, even if it's a cool dog and the dog's like chill. Um, and I know that there can be some dogs that really just don't care and have no prey drive, but I've heard so many horror stories about rabbits getting mauled, so I would just never ever do it. You heard it here, folks. Don't leave your bunnies with dogs. I feel like she's talking from experience. Probably is. No risk. No, I never take any risks with my rabbits. Risky rabbit. Uh, Jennifer says, I would like to know more about the rabbit rescue. Okay, so my rescue is a really small um, 503... Um, non-profit rescue in Pennsylvania. We're called Bunny Brigade Inc. Um, don't, not to be confused with the other Bunny Brigades around America. Um, but there's only four of us and we all have full-time jobs and work, some of us, multiple jobs. Um, to support this asshole! And, you know, we're, we're doing whatever we can. We, we're pretty much paying for our, the rabbit's care out of our own pockets and, like, only through donations. And You're paying so much out of your own pockets, now you're pockets have rabbit ears when you pull them out and you have ra crotch rabbits you know we're always looking for more donations so mm. definitely be plugging that mm. he's fucking clingy where's your testosterone my boy where's it gone <laughs> we'll plug it we'll plug it the best way to donate is through our bunnybrigadepa.com there's yes. um, Square, Venmo, Square. Pe PayPal you could donate supplies through Chewy yeah. and uh, Amazon Amazon! and all of those things will fill up this house that I'm in right now and take up space that I was originally using with my editing computer stuff I'll be lucky and put rabbits there <laughs> The rabbits will take over your TikTok. I hope, I hope to God, your rabbits take over your TikTok. There really is a lot of rabbits around here. There's eight rabbits in my house. There's eight. There's eight fucking rat. Eight fucking rabbits are in the house. Those are outdoor bunnies. You put them outside. I'm kidding. For you animal sensitive fucks out there. God. Take a joke. It's comedy. It's supposed to derive from tragedy. Yep. Yeah. Fucking pets. Rabbits in this house right now. Four of them are mine. The rest are rest for, for I support rabbits. this. For the record, I support this. We don't care. 
I even took pictures. Yeah, Marcus also took pictures of the bunnies for our um, website for the adoption pictures. I will give Marcus one thing. He's got one thing that I agree with him on, and that's the fact that he uses the Samsung line of phones. Sir, you're cool with that. When it comes to that, you're 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 bay. But everything else so far, you're fucking cringe. I like taking pictures of bunnies. Don't say that ever. Don't you ever say that line again, you son of a bitch. Okay, did you get to go on some of his trips? Yes. I went to Chicago, um, which was for um, the shooting of a, a young child by police, which was really dark. And um, but it, that joke that can be interpreted as a very bad joke, but I'm I'm above that, so I'm going to keep going. It was still like it was still a good experience and um, powerful experience. And then I went to Florida with you to see the NASA space that change. That actually does sound cool. Vibes. Interested in the rabbit rescue, wild 4-H. Those poor rabbits that are above their head. Yeah, 4-H. I don't like 4-H. I'm so against rabbit breeding. Breeders are the reason why I have to work so hard. So. Sorry, I'm getting really tired, and that was not a very good. You've only done, like, seven minutes of a video, my guy. Be a man. Laura, I'm sorry. That was not a very good reading of your question. I apologize to you. I'm just very, very, very tired after a long day. Dude! You always look tired! Linda's question. What was your first impression of Marcus? So... I want to hear this. My first impression, Marcus, I, I found him, I think, in, like, October before the election. And I was like, this is interesting. Like, I, I've never seen anything like this. Like, it was always on my For You page. Um, and then he, like, basically made me, or helped me survive the election. Like, I was losing my, my fucking mind. Like, that was so stressful. And I'm sure a lot of other people felt the same. And you definitely, like, when you told us to go to bed, that was so helpful. So I would have sat up all night just, like, Sitting in the bathroom, rocking back and forth, just staring at the numbers, hoping something would change. Um, so yeah, that was my first question of Marcus. So you're one of those that got nervous about the election. When you could be like me and know that we're all fucked, regardless of who's in office. And I'm impressed that Groku is still on my fucking head. Shows you how goddamn disgusting I am. Let's continue. How do you feel, uh, the second part of Lynn's question, how do you feel about the title Primary Partner? Um, I'm, I'm polyamorous too, and Marcus is my primary partner. Ah! Mazel tov! You're all fucking crazy! I'm very happy for both of you. Yeah, um, so I feel really good about it. Good. Hmm. Ah! Did we talk about Target? No. I have a Target addiction problem, and I took Marcus. Okay, I anyone in the comment section, please explain me what the fuck a target addiction is. I think my ex-wife has one, too. I usually don't, like, take him shopping with me, um, but he wanted to go this time for some reason, and so I just, like, walk around with no meaning. I just kind of, like, buy what speaks to me. That's dangerous. Like, legit, that's one of the most dangerous things you could do in a store. And, um... I felt that my cart and Marcus had a lot of fun watching. This Target experience we had was one of the most meaningful entertainment experiences of my life. I know you're being, I know you're joking, but I feel like there's a hint of truth to this because I feel like you are the most boring motherfucker on the planet. And yet you're polyamorous. Interesting. I wonder if he has any kinks. News Daddy, if you see this, please answer me this one question: What are your kinks, and how? Can, what can I do to satisfy them? I'll leave you my number. I am going to get permission. <laughs> Why? Okay, yeah, he's the sub because he has to get permission. I'm going to get permission from the store manager, and I'm going to go back with a camera, and I'm going to show you what it's like to go shopping with Brittany. Because it really was one of the most entertaining things I have ever seen in my entire life. 
she just grabs shit off of itself. It speaks to her. It speaks to her. It's like a religious experience. It I can't wait. It definitely does. That's creepy. Don't ever do that again, you creepo fucking weirdo. And I'm the one with the Groku on my forehead. Explain yourself, mortal. Explain what you are. <laughs> oh, hail Target. Oh my god. Shut up! Walmart's god. Know your role. If the store manager doesn't let us do it, I'm going to be so upset. Yeah. I hope she does. I'm sure. She. She. They. So she. They. They. We don't know their pronouns. Yes. And here we go with the pronouns. What are your pronouns? Marcus, what are your pronouns? Tell me, boy. <gasps> Deafen you. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay, I'm done with this video. I've had enough. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, bitch! Bye, thank you. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. First impressions of this guy. I've been watching him on TikTok periodically for the past about year or so. Thinking, okay, he's a, he's a reputable to some degree. And then you find out the guy's kind of biased towards, uh, you know, conservatism, you know, being a self-family man. Ha <laughs> ha! He's against that shit, I guess. But look at this. Look at this fucking beta right here. Holy shit! Ah, it's creepy. Motherfucker, he's creepy. There's 20 more seconds on the video. Do I dare continue? Do I dare embrace the abyss known as News Daddy? Fuck it. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> Wait, we should also get this in. Ah, they got the lightsaber! Oh! Marcus, do you have the high ground? Uh, I hope you do. Mm, you made my lightsaber go. Oh, yes. Happy May the Fourth. <laughs> happy May the Happy May Yes, the it's season. Star Wars Day. Exactly. Happy Star Wars Day. Yeah. You know what? That was so sweet and so fucking cringe. I might puke on my floor. Hold on. Let me find Marcus's shoes to puke in. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, they're not here. Of course not. Anyway, guys, what do I think about News Daddy, aka Marcus? Let me explain something to you guys. I don't really have anything against this guy. I really don't. I think he's just weird. But I do I, I do like the idea of, you know, you know... The fact that we can get some form of news on TikTok, but... There are other sources, guys. This is Zoomy. I'm signing out. Go to bed, you fucking idiots. I love you. <laughs>